Imagine if deep within the asteroid belt, a collision just like the one that created the Baptistina cluster has already happened. And that right now, after tens of millions of years hurtling through space, it's just a few days away from a collision with Earth. How an eight mile wide asteroid has slipped through the net and gone unnoticed, no one knows. It seems unbelievable that somehow history is about to repeat itself. Frantic preparations get underway, but it's simply too late to avert the disaster, and the world's governments can't agree on what to do. People like Doug Robertson and Jay Maloche try desperately to explain to a confused world how best to survive the disaster. You need to be prepared to get underground, get away from the thermal radiation, the heat, the debris falling from the atmosphere, and take about a year's worth of supplies with you. You might want some sort of rainwater catchment system. You might want to locate a spring, but you have to worry about your long-term food supply. With the world in deep shock, many people just carry on as normal. Others fall prey to mass hysteria. As news channels try and establish what effect the impact will have, all over the world, millions of people are on the move, trying to escape the blast zone. Thousands of miles away, the most reckless sightseers are even preparing to film the event. They've been told the impact will cause the greatest sunset in 65 million years. The final countdown begins. Five, four, three, two, one. The asteroid strikes. The impact instantly incinerates everything within a thousand miles. The debris swallows up whole towns. Meanwhile, billions of particles of shattered asteroid have been sent hurtling high into the atmosphere. As they begin raining back down to Earth, they generate thermal radiation that starts to spread all over the globe. For sightseers, temperatures now begin to soar. Soon, it's unbearably hot. Then the world catches fire. For most of the human race, there is no place to hide. Within hours, 75% of all species on Earth are extinct. Every member of humanity without shelter has been incinerated. The survivors emerge much later from the subways, cellars and bunkers they were lucky enough to be in. Among them, Jay Maloche and Doug Robertson. The survival of the human race is now in their hands.